Hello everyone, our today's question is find the value of the integration x dx upon root over x square minus a square whole multiplied by b square minus x square here over these two limits. Now, the first idea is I'm going to substitute something here. But the tricky part is finding the substitution. So most of you are not aware of this substitution whenever we have root over x square minus a square or b square minus x square, what to do? So let me uh, give you an example in this situation. I think you're very much comfortable if I give you this integration or if I give you this integration because all of you are aware that what we're going to do in this substitution. So in the first case, I think we're going to directly, we're going to substitute x is equal to cos theta or x is equal to sine theta. Now in the second case, I think we substitute a cos theta or a sine theta. Now, we learn the substitution, but most of you don't focus on the logic. The logic is, first we se select the function. So, the function here is root over 1 minus x square or a square minus x square. Now, once we see the function, we find the domain of the function. So, domain of the function is defined. Now, we substitute x is equal to something. Let's say a cos theta or a sin theta. So, in the first case, the domain is minus 1 to 1. In the second case, domain is minus a to a. Now, we su substitute something x is equal to something we are going to substitute in any integral. The basis will be if the range of the substitution is same as the domain, then we substitute something. Otherwise, we cannot substitute. So, this is the main logic. The range of this substitution is going to same as domain. If these two are equal, then we can substitute. That is the logic we are going to use here. So, in this case, when we have root over x square minus a square, or b square minus x square, we're going to substitute x square is equal to a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta. Now, as you can see, here you can calculate the domain of this and the range of this will going to match for sure. Now, I'm going to find the differential here. So, differential will be 2x d of x will be equal to 2a or you can write here a square, the differentiation will be minus sin 2 theta here plus b square the differential will be here sine 2 theta and then whole multiplied by d theta here. Now here we'll get x dx that is we need in numerator will be equal to I can write this as b square minus a square by taking sine 2 theta common and d theta whole divided by 2. Now once we got the differential I'm going to fight for lower and upper limit. So let's start with the upper limit. So for upper limit, uh, the value of x is equal to root over a square plus b square divided by 2. And here we have substituted x square. So I'm going to square this value. We'll get this as a square plus b square divided by 2 will be equal to a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta. Now I'm going to multiply 2 on one side and I'm going to collect b square on left hand side and a square on right hand side. So we'll get b square multiplied by 1 minus 2 sin square is equal to a square on left hand right hand side. So we'll get this as a square multiplied by 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now I think this is cos 2 theta and this is also cos 2 theta. So I'm going to take cos 2 theta common. So we'll get here cos 2 theta will be equal to 0 from here. And that means 2 theta will be equal to pi by 2. This implies that theta will be equal to pi by 4 here. So we got the upper limit. Now for the lower limit. Let's calculate lower limit. So for lower limit, the value of x, which is given is root over 3a square b square divided by 2. So I'm going to square this because we have again x square as substitution. So directly I'm going to substitute there. We'll get 3a square plus b square divided by 4 will get is equal to a square cos square plus b square sin square theta. Now multiplying 4 on both sides, so we'll get 3a square plus b square is equal to 4a square. Now we have cos square term here and we have sin square term. So why not keep one on one side? Let's say I, I can go in both direction of cos square or I can go in the direction of sin square. So I'm keeping everything in the terms of sin square. So it will be easy for me to calculate sin square theta only. Now, uh, we have 4a square on the left hand side. I'm going to take it on the right hand side. So, we'll get b square minus a square is equal to, uh, here we have 4, I'm going to take 4 sin square common. So, if I take 4 sin square common, remaining will be b square minus a square here. Or you can switch to cos square side. It's not a problem. Now, 
I think from here, if I take b square minus a square common, if I cancel these two, then I think uh, we can write 4 sin square theta will be equal to 1. Let me erase this part. Now the value of sin square theta will be equal to 1 by 4. From here, the value of sin theta will be equal to 1 by 2. And then that means theta will be equal to pi by 6. That is 30 degree. So we got the lower and upper limit. Now let's integrate. Now so far we have calculated the lower limit, upper limit and the differential. After calculating this, I'm going to calculate one more thing that is x square minus a square in order to simplify this root. So x square minus a square, I'm going to subtract a square from both sides. We'll get a square multiplied by cos square minus 1 plus b square sin square here. So this will be equal to, I think here we'll get minus sin square and I'm going to take sin square common and left with b square minus a square. Now, second term will be b square minus a square. So, b square minus x square will be equal to, uh, here we'll get b square and then 1 minus sin square. Similarly, minus uh, a square cos square here. So, this is cos square and I'm going to take cos square common. So, cos square common remaining is b square minus a square again. Now, I'm going to substitute everything here. So, we have integration from pi by 6 to pi by 4 as we have done earlier. Now the differential is 1 by 2 outside, b square minus a square sin 2 theta, d theta and whole thing divided by root over. I think this value, first value x square minus a square is equal to sin square, b square minus a square multiplied by. Second value is b square minus x square that is cos square and multiplied by same term, square of this. Now here, I think the moment we take the root over, I think we can cancel out b square minus a square, b square minus a square will cancel out. Now I'm going to open sine 2 theta, that is half of integration pi by 6 to pi by 4, 2 sine theta cos theta, whole thing divided by, since we are only in first quadrant pi by 6 to pi by 4, sine theta and cos theta will, will open without a mod here. So we'll get only sine theta and cos theta directly and d theta. So I think sin theta, sin theta, cos theta, cos theta will cancel out. This 2 and this 2 will cancel out. Integration of 1 means, uh, unity means only difference of limit. Difference of limit is 45 degree minus 30 degree will be 15 degree. So that will be pi by 12 will be our final answer. And that will be all.